Google Forms in Brightspace, a Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. In this video, we're going to see how to add a Google Form to a Brightspace assignment by either embedding it or linking it in the assignment. And then we're going to talk about some reasons why you might prefer to choose one option over the other. So first, let's see how to add a Google Form to an assignment. So here I am in my course in Brightspace and I've selected on Unit 3 over here on the left. Now I'm going to choose Create New and then I'm going to choose Assignment. You cannot include a Google Form in a Google Assignment, so we're going to do this in the Brightspace Assignment feature instead. So I click right here on Assignment. And here we have the assignment page where I can put in my title, the grade, due date, and type in some instructions. Now that I've filled in those fields, let's talk about those two options. We're going to start with the option to share the form with a link. That's done by first going to where the form is saved in your Google Drive, clicking on the Send button here in the upper right-hand corner, choosing the Link option here in the center, and then copying the link. Now that we have the link, we're ready to go back to Brightspace. We can either click here where it says Attach Web Link, type in the name of the form and then paste in that link and click Insert, or we could have simply clicked here on Attach from Google Drive, found the file where it's stored in our Google Drive, and added it there. Now let's talk about the option to embed the form, which would allow it to display right here inside of the assignment window instead of opening in a separate tab. If you want to embed the form, the first step, just like linking, is to go back to the form and get the embed code. So here we are back on the form and we're still in the send window, which is great because that's the same place that you get the embed code. The embed code is gotten by clicking on these two little carrots or arrows here. Once again, the code is displayed, we click copy, and let's go back to Brightspace. To embed the form, we're going to put it right here in the same field where we add instructions. And to do that, we're going to click here on the More Actions icon and then choose the Embed option right here. We're going to paste that in, click Enter to make sure that it's on the line below our instructions, and click Save. And that's going to allow our form to load right here in the same page with the assignment. So now that we've looked at both of those options to embed and link the form, let's talk about the last steps to making sure that your form is fully accessible to your students and that they will be able to submit it without any trouble. So that last step is to come over here to the right hand side where it says Submission and Completion and click the toggle arrow. What we want to do is change the submission type from file submission to on paper. And the difference here, that file submission is going to require the students to attach an additional file in order to submit this assignment to us. And we don't want that. We want them to be able to just click to turn it in after they've completed the form. The second thing is how will it be marked completed? Right now it says automatically on the due date, but we want to allow the student to turn it in when they're done. So we're going to change that to manually by learners and we're all set. Now we can click Save and Close. So now that we've seen how to create that form, let's make sure that it's viewable to our students, and then let's go to the student's account to see what it looks like for them. As I said initially, there's two options. You can link or embed. Let's take a look at what those options look like for students, starting with the option to link a form. So I'm going to click as the student right here on the Trivia 3 quiz, and then I'm going to choose Go to Assignment. The first page that loads for the assignment will simply include a link to that form. And in order for me as the student to begin to fill this form out, I have to click on the link. And that's going to open in another tab, and now I have the entire form ready for me to fill it out and click Submit down here at the bottom. Let's talk instead about what it looks like for students if the form has been embedded. 
Once again, the student clicks on the assignment where it's listed among their units over here on the left, and then clicks on Go to Assignment. Because the form is embedded, it displays right here on the same page as the assignment itself without the need to click again to open it in another tab. But notice at the bottom we have the Submit button for the form as well as the Mark as Complete button in order to turn it in. And this is where we talk about the difference between linking versus embedding the form. If we link the form, the form opens in a new tab, the Submit button is at the bottom in this tab, whereas the Mark as Complete button is in the Brightspace assignment. If we embed the form, the Submit button and the Mark as Complete button are here on the same page. This is where you, as the teacher, have to decide what workflow is going to work better for your students. If the form is embedded, Submit and Mark as Complete are on the same page. If the students don't click Submit in the form, and only click Mark is Complete, their answers will not be recorded anywhere and you will not be able to access them and the student will have to retake the form. If you link the form, they do have to open the form in another tab. Submit will be at the bottom of the form. Mark as Complete will be on the Brightspace assignment page. So two separate pages for those two separate buttons to submit. Of the two buttons, the more important one is the Submit button at the bottom of the form because that's the one that actually captures and records the students' responses so that the teacher can come in and grade them.